one of the questions I get a lot is how do you come up with the code for the application? How do you know what to install? And I've created these steps you can follow for any application you are trying to deploy. This is a step that I learned from work that we use at work all the time. So for every application that you are trying to host, the first question you need to ask yourself is, what is the framework for this application? Is it a Node application? Is it a Java application? The reason why this question is important is because, like I said, for every application, the installation process will be different. It might be similar, but expect it to be different. Then once you know the framework, that can be the foundation to help you with the rest of your installation. So that is the first thing. I just know the type of application you are trying to deploy, the framework for the application. Then once you, here I should probably just put framework. Once you know the framework for the application, the next question you are going to ask yourself, which this is the next thing you would do after you've done the research on the framework is what type of hardware are you going to use to host the application? For example, are you going to use an EC2 instance or are you going to use a container? This part is very simple because whether it's a personal project you are working on, or at your company, they will tell you what to use. If they want to use an EC2 instance, they will let you know. If they want to use a container, they will let you know. Once you figure out the hardware you are going to use and you launch your EC2 instance, for example, we are using EC2 instance to host this application. The next thing you need to ask is, what are the softwares you need to install on that EC2 instance for your application to function? Remember I said you have to figure out the framework for the application. Then you figure out the hardware, which here we are using an EC2 instance. Once you launch an EC2 instance, remember EC2 does not come with all the packages that exist for all the applications in the world because they just give you a plain EC2 instance and you have to install the packages you want on that EC2 instance based on the application you are trying to host. That is why I said understanding the framework for your application is the first thing. Then once you launch your EC2 instance, the next thing you need to do is install the necessary softwares that the application needs to function. And this is where I get most of the question is, how do I know what software to install? Since it is not your job to write the application code at your company, you guys will have front-end, back-end engineers. It depends on the company you work for, but I'm going to say as a cloud engineer, it is not your job or your responsibility to write the code for the application. You have developers on your team that write the code. When they write the code, they will tell you what you need to install on your EC2 instance for the application to function properly. So pretty much they'll tell you the requirements that your server must meet. Here for the next application that you guys are going to be deploying for the dynamic application, these are the instructions the developer sent to me on the requirements for the server, meaning that these are the softwares I need to install on the server for that application to function. In terms of knowing what software to install on the server, the developer will tell you the softwares you need to install. You also learn some of the softwares you need to install on the server if you've worked with that framework before and you just know, okay, for this framework, your server needs to have PHP, it needs to have MySQL or whatever. But it is the developer that will tell you the software you need to install. Your job as a cloud engineer is to know how to install this software on your EC2 instance. So once you launch your EC2 instance, you know you need to install PHP version 7.3 or higher, you need to install MySQL version 5 or more, you need to install OpenSSL PHP extension, you need to install PDO PHP extension, and so on. So once you have all this instruction, it is your responsibility as a cloud engineer to know how to install these things. And how we find the answer to it is on Google. And even better yet now, there's ChatGPT. You can type it in there, for example, this is what I would do to make my life easier now. Since even I myself, I probably don't know the command. Well, I don't know the command to install PHP on an EC2 instance. It is not compulsory that you memorize all the commands. Just do a research on it. You can either Google it or ask ChatGPT. So here, I'm just going to say, I want to install PHP 7.3. So here I just type, I want to install PHP version 7.3 on Amazon Linux 2 EC2 instance. I'm going to press enter and I'll see what command it gives me. So here it is giving me the commands. 
it might give you more than you need. Once I'm looking at this, I know I have to update my EC2 instance. We always do that. And here it is telling me to download the repository, add the repository, right? This is the command for that. And here it is telling me to install PHP and some PHP extensions. This is the command for, for that. And once I do that, it is here showing me how to check the version that I just installed. This is pretty much all I need. The rest of this, I don't need this. Let's say you don't want to use ChatGPT. You can use Google. I can search for this in Google. And you can see someone already wrote an article how to install PHP version 7.4 on EC2 instance here. And if I select this and scroll down here, you can see some of the steps they've written and how you will know what works is you have to launch an EC2 instance, run these commands that you either get from Google or ChatGPT on the EC2 instance to check whether it works. If that command works, you add it to your notes. So that way, you know for this step to install PHP version 7.3, you already have the command for that. Then you move on to the next, which is MySQL, and you just follow the same process. That is it for the software part. Then the last thing you need to do is once you have installed all the necessary software that your application needs to run, then you can install your application on the EC2 instance and you also need to configure the application. You guys, for some of you guys that have deployed Jenkins before, you guys know that once you install Jenkins, then there are still some additional configuration you have to do at the end. That is the last thing you do once you have installed the software, you install your application and you set the configuration that is required for that application to function properly. Again, the configuration you have to set on your server for the application to function properly is different based on the framework for the application. So those are the ways you will use to deploy an application. Remember, you need to know the framework for the application the type of hardware you are going to use. Are you using an EC2 instance or container? The softwares that are required to be installed on your server for the application to function properly and what you need to configure on your server for the application to function properly. These are the steps we use at work every day to deploy an application. So when you guys ask, how do you know how to get the commands and how to come up with everything I need to deploy an application. This is the step I use. And this is what I've also seen at work that we used to. So that is it for what I wanted to present today.